What is your personal favorite ARM-based device? The phone, the mobile phone. Describe the future of computing in one word. Ubiquitous. So it's where, everywhere it's going to be. That's the most important thing about computing today. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about the future of computing? 11. It's really been wonderful. What do you see as the breakthrough technology in the next decade? Um, I think it is going to be uh, the AI and the machine, la machine learning language. And I think that's going to be really the future of computing, as well as quantum is going to be a huge part of our future, actually. What will have the biggest impact on technology over the next decade? AI, the metaverse, or ambient computing? Ambient computing, for sure. I think uh, it's something that is going to be pervasive in our future, and uh, that's the way it's going to be, yeah. Augmented reality, virtual reality, or mixed reality, which has the biggest potential? Uh, the mixed reality, I think, has got the um, um, biggest potential because uh, you have to combine uh, the augmentation uh, and the virtual reality to make it happen. So I think it's going to be the mixed reality, yeah. If you could choose between more performance or more performance per watt, which one would you choose? Uh, I would say more performance per watt because uh, I think uh, there is a big shift towards uh, sustainability and environmental requirements. And I think if you get more uh, more efficiencies, it will be very good for the, uh, for the environment, for the climate and all of that, actually. On a scale of 1 to 10, how big of a challenge is security across connected devices? Oh, um, it's huge. Um, that's going to be probably the challenge or the holy grail uh, in my mind. The security is everything uh, in the future. As uh, the transition is taking place more and more towards a uh, very, uh, uh, you know, like uh, um, very dependent upon technology, uh, dependent upon devices, uh, security plays a very important role because we have to protect individual um, you know, the individual, uh, their own characteristics, their demographics, and as well as their uh, security is just the most important thing, actually. It seems everybody is pursuing more performance despite the murmurs of Moore's law ending. What do you think will drive the most performance rise when manufacturing chips? Would it be novel materials, 3D-enabled designs, or the simplification of processor instructions, or advanced packaging? Um, I'm not, uh, we are a firmware, we are a foundational firmware company. We are not actually a manufacturer of hardware or silicon. So we enable the silicon manufacturers. Uh, but I think design uh, and uh, uh, to my mind, design and supply chain would be probably the most important thing to be uh, taken into account. What will experience the biggest evolution over the next decade for you, software or hardware? Software is going to be the biggest evolution. I think the reason is, uh, Hardware, I think, uh, the, you know, the speed to market and the hardware, uh, it takes a little, uh, uh, the, the production of hardware takes, a, uh, the whole creation takes a little while and the adoption is for a period of time, but software has to constantly change in order to keep up with the demand requirements of customers. Uh, it's a lot of specifics are required. Each customer differentiates themselves through their own, uh, their own IPs. So we have to be extremely agile and and be ready to supply. Uh, so software is going to be a big uh, uh, big need of the future. What will be the best place for future processing needs, the edge or the cloud? Uh, it's going to be the edge for sure. Uh, everything is going to go to the edge. Uh, the reason is, uh, you know, uh, today, uh, every, every aspect of our life, whether it's autonomous driving or uh, industrial automation or uh, 5G telco space, you need the edge to be very powerful and in order for the whole system to work, edge is going to be the most important thing. Where do you see most of AI taking place, the edge or the cloud? Um, it has to happen both ways. Um, I think there are a lot of learning patterns that, uh, uh, that, 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 that comes into play here. And uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, modeling that's happening that's going to be helpful for the AI, uh, the AI business. So it, I think it'll be both, both places actually. There seems to be a rise in OEMs designing their own SOCs. What do you see as the main driver? Is it differentiation of features, design flexibility, or supply longevity? Um, design flexibility as well as supply chain. Uh, I think uh, many, uh, many of the OEMs today uh, have to differentiate simply because uh, the industry is so uniquely uh, uh, working towards solving some complex problems that are very diverse in nature. So they will have to perform, uh, you know, they will have to create uh, their own niche in these areas. That's very important for them. What will be the single biggest challenge in computing over the next decade? I think the, uh, the industry today is completely fragmented. 
And what we are trying to do is to defragment that and try to bring them together uh, so that the time to market for a product is going to be very uh, fast as well as, uh, you know, we need to uh, quickly adapt ourselves to the changing needs of the customer today, especially the silicon customers, actually. When you think about the next 10 years, what one computing trend will fuel your company's growth the most? Um, foundational, uh, uh, you know, uh, firmware security, uh, as well as the, the, the biggest thing that I think uh, is going to fuel our growth is going to be offering very uh, uh, tight, industry-based, you know, open source based uh, offerings uh, in the firmware industry. That's going to be something that's very, going to be very important. What's your favorite thing about ARM technology? Um, efficiency, you know, power efficiency is today very critical. And uh, uh, it's, we are living in an earth where uh, we are constantly challenged by crisis of climate. And so we need to keep, and also at the same time, our computing, our uh, data requirements are just, uh, it's going through the roof basically. So in order to cut the cost of power uh, is most important and ARM chips today provide that efficiency and that's a very important thing. Uh, the flexibility of ARM uh, uh, sockets, it's very uh, uh, very flexible to work with. Uh, also the, uh, the access to the ARM uh, uh, ecosystem is fantastic. So because it's all open source based, it's very easy to work with. So availability of resources online uh, to you know, the groups uh, to work with us, just fantastic. How important is ARM technology for your future roadmap? Oh, it's in our roadmap. Uh, all the ARMs and NUAs and all of that is part of our roadmap. Uh, we follow ARMs roadmap as our roadmap. So because we are, a, again, a firmware, uh, foundational firmware company, we have to morph the ARMs uh, uh, roadmap. There is no escape. And so we do a lot of investment in the ARM in that area. Roughly how many products do you have that are ARM-based? Uh, we have uh, basically uh, 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 three verticals that we stand on, uh, three pillars. Uh, one is the uh, boot firmware, a third, second one is the manageability firmware, and the third one is the security firmware. All are supporting ARM today. So we have, and then we are providing a SaaS-based model, which is called as AMI Meridian Services, where, where ARM, our mutual customers can go and basically create their own uh, recipe for boot, uh, manageability boot firmware as well as uh, security firmware actually. And what is your favorite ARM-based product or technology from your company? We, uh, we have, uh, as I told you, we have the manageability suite. Um, this is called as a BMC manageability software. That uh, is very, very, very helpful to the ARM community uh, because we offer it at, uh, for all the verticals of ARM's business, whether it is the edge, uh, whether it's IoT, or whether it is going to be the hyperscalers, the cloud service providers. So the manageability solution that we provide, the BMC manageable solution is very, very valuable for ARM as well as AMI. Do you have a favorite memory working with ARM that you could share with us? Um, I've been working with ARM for the last two years. Um, the most uh, uh, memorable uh, the thing that uh, has happened to me is the APM today. Um, I probably will never forget um, uh, this particular, uh, I've been, to several conferences in my lifetime. Uh, I've been in the, in the computing industry for almost 20 plus years, 25 plus years, and uh, never been to a place where it's so very happy. To, we can just meet just about anybody, whether from the CEO all the way down to an engineering level, we can meet and have a discussion. And the availability of these people and their willingness to help and uh, uh, is just amazing. I'm completely blown away by their uh, the humble uh, nature of them, actually.